So let's move on. We got some more high tech stuff coming your way. This next week does multi conditional fine grained image generation. Again, we call this Adobe Sensei. It's all these big words. We just call it Adobe Sensei. Yeah. Back to that thing we talked about earlier. That helps me a lot. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. It's like, it's like Chinatown in that movie. You go, look, it's Adobe Sensei. What can we say? Yeah. What do you do? What are you going to do? It does all the work for us. It's called Project Image Tango. To present it, we have Gunjan Agarwal. Welcome, Gunjan. Thank you. So, hello, everyone. I'm super excited to present an idea that will hopefully blow your mind. Thank you. <laughs> so recently, I went on a trip and spotted a very beautiful bird. Although I'm not a great artist, but I did try to draw it backstage using Adobe Fresco. Let me complete the sketch for you. The eye, the beak, <laughs> and the beautiful feathers, which are not so beautiful. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly save the image and import it in Creative Cloud so that I can access it on my computer. All right. While that happens, we need the right texture of the bird. So here are a few birds which have different shapes, different perspectives, and slightly different textures. So although none of it matches the bird in my mind, this one here is the closest with this white belly and dark blue feathers. OK. So now for uh, recreating the bird, I need the shape. So we get it from the sketch I just drew. Well, let's wait for it to get loaded. And we also need the texture, bird, and this is what we chose. All right. We can go ahead and try to recreate it in Photoshop, definitely, but that requires a lot of time. So with that, I'm going to present a technology powered by Adobe Sensei that will speed up our creative process. All I need to do is hit this magical button and ta-da! Yeah, that, that did not exist before. The image tango has brought my imagination into life. This is no Adobe Stock or Google search. This is deep learning and AI, which learns the shape and texture features and generates a new species of bird which does not exist in reality. That's crazy, yeah. Huh? It's crazy. It's cool. It's crazy. So now, let's step into the world of designers. Suppose I'm a clothes artist, and I want to design a new dress for the Max Bash. So well, here is, uh, let's go to the demo images. So here's a little black dress, and I really like the shape of it. But I would love to see it in different textures, like the greeny pink of the sweater, this magenta dress, and actually the painting of the skirt. Let's see what happens. So here are our brand new dresses in just a click of button. Wow. Thank you. I really wish I could have these, but I cannot because they do not exist in reality. OK. So here's a drop down menu, which I haven't used so far. Let's see what it does by designing some new bags. So here's a multicolored bag, and I really like it for its shape because it stores a lot of stuff. And then again, I would love to see it in various textures, like these three here. All right. So now let's choose a magical number, say three, and let's see what happens. Well, this is how Image Tango works as a great inspirational tool, generating multiple variations of the same input. Thank you. You will not find these bags anywhere on the net. <laughs> so here is a model ready, wearing the dress and carrying the bag which we designed for her. Wow. Thank you. Is the bird in the bag? <laughs> <laughs> so earlier, we saw the sketch bird come into life. <laughs> so. Can we recreate the magic for real birds? Well, let's find out. Here are our beautiful birds, which I have taken from Adobe Stock. And let's quickly see what happens. 
So our AI engine is generating these on the fly, and these images did not exist a second ago. This is Image Tango. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Whoa. The future is coming a lot faster than I thought. Yeah. yeah. I mean, God took a day to make birds, I think. And <laughs> yeah. Not that I strictly follow the story, but <laughs> that was, those are new birds. Those are brand new birds. You can Say what you will. I mean, I've done a lot of my life. I've never made new birds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, especially on stage in front of everyone. So excellent job. And it'll take any input, whatever you do. You drew, she drew something, you know, you can take any texture or any, any other object, whatever it is. You load that in as the second image, and it starts generating as many as you want with fashion, whatever the case may be. With, with you could have a pig, and then you could have Spider-Man in one, and it would make Spider-Ham. That is, my yes. You take a pig in Spider-Man. Jam it. You get spider ham. Yeah. And then yeah. I add my too loud voice. <laughs> they got to edit, do all the editing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they edit it. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. It's, <laughs> we're playing God. I <laughs> know. It's almost too much power. I don't know about this. Okay, so. I wish I could do a thing because, you know, you carrying your phone in your pocket's no good. So I wish I could get, I'm going to take an hour to talk about this, but Tell me. I want a fanny pack that's a hat. Everything up there? Like a fedora, right? On the side, a fanny pack. They go, your, your ID, sir? I go, right here. There, there. Right here. <laughs> Boom. Boom. I'm into it. I got to talk to her backstage about this. Yeah. We could work that out. We could comp that up, no, no problem.